Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, stepped back from royal duties in 2020 and moved to the US to pursue a financially independent life away from the firm. Now, the couple reside in Montecito with their two children Archie, 2, and Lilibet, who turns 1 in June. At the time of announcing their intention to step away, the Queen released a statement acknowledging their departure from the firm. The 95-year-old Monarchan said that the Sussexes would remain much-loved members of her family. She thanked the couple for their dedicated work, and wished them a happy and peaceful new life. Her Majesty also touchingly expressed how proud she was of Meghan, who had so quickly become one of the family. Prior to their step away though, Meghan was given the rare honor of carrying out a day of engagements with the Queen. In June 2018, the pair traveled to Chester together and made a number of visits and appearances including attending a lunch at Chester Town Hall. For the occasion, Meghan and the Queen made their way to the northwest of England on the Royal Train and one stop on their itinerary saw them attending the opening of the Mersey Gateway Bridge. Photographs from the day show the women in good spirits as they laughed and smiled together. It marked the first time the Duchess attended an event with the Queen without her husband Harry. The Queen sported a vibrant green outfit complete with a matching hat, while Meghan wore a cream dress and carried a black clutch bag. Body language expert Judy James analyzed the images at the time and claims Meghan made several subtle hand gestures that revealed her true feelings towards the monarch. She claims that at times Meghan appeared rather nervous, evidenced through self-comforting self-touch. Ms. James said, it was clear from the Queen's congruent and very spontaneous looking smiles that she was delighted to have her new granddaughter-in-law beside her on this visit. Meghan did appear rather nervous initially though, emerging coyly from the train and using some more tentative gesticulation than usual. Without new husband Prince Harry beside her to touch and hug her, there was a noticeable increase in Meghan's self-comforting self-touch and checking rituals, suggesting she is still quite in awe of her doting grandmother-in-law. Despite stepping away from duties, Harry and Meghan continued continue to praise Her Majesty and in June, they pay tribute to her by naming their daughter Lilibet, a nickname used by the monarch. Royal author Omid Scobie told Good Morning America last summer, when it comes to that relationship with the Queen, it is as strong as ever. Since moving to the US, the Sussexes have yet to return to UK soil as a family of four meaning the monarch has yet to meet her namesake in person. Prince Harry has made two solo visits back to the UK since departing from duties. He attended the funeral of Prince Philip in April last year, and also joined his brother Prince William in July to reveal a statue of their late mother Princess Diana.